Uh, the death penalty debate in the United States has been reopened this following the botched execution of an Oklahoma inmate. In fact, it takes an average of uh, six minutes for a prisoner to die after they receive a lethal injection. With Clayton Lockett, however, it took seven times as long. He died in obvious agony 43 minutes after he was administered the drugs. Marina Portnaya has this story. America is among the top five nations that lead the world in executions, but a recent lethal injection gone bad. The typical execution should take between about six and 12 minutes. It took 43 minutes, a vein burst, blinds were closed because something was going so wrong. Is casting a spotlight on the inhumane methods behind capital punishment in the U.S. The American public and the world is getting a close up and personal look at the death penalty as it really operates and what we're seeing is ugly. On Tuesday, Oklahoma inmate Clayton Lockett died a slow and painful death after his lethal injection was administered. Witnesses say he was withering around for 43 minutes, telling doctors something's wrong before eventually suffering a massive heart attack. Lockett began rising from the gurney, his head and his head moving up forcefully. He tried to speak, it seemed like, a few times as well. The first two were inaudible, but the third time you could clearly hear him say the word man. He grimaced his teeth in his face a few times and uh, moved around quite a bit on the gurney. His body shuddered a few times as well. According to reports, the three drugs used to kill Lockett are not primarily intended as execution drugs and come with a host of warnings about suppressing the respiratory system and causing heart trouble. In recent years, drug makers, mostly in Europe, have stopped selling their medications to U.S. prisons because they don't want their products being used to kill individuals. As a result, states have scrambled to find new suppliers and chemical recipes for executions. In many cases, officials refuse to disclose which drugs are being used and where they're coming from. When the states are refusing to provide this kind of information, the tragic results that we saw in Oklahoma are what we're going to get. In January, an Ohio inmate took 25 minutes to die by injection, gasping repeatedly as he laid on the stretcher. In Oklahoma, another prisoner complained of feeling his whole body burning after being lethally injected. The injections, by the way, are being administered by prison officials, not medical professionals. The medical community, uh, doctors in particular, are prohibited by their ethical oaths from participating in executions in this way. And one of the issues that's come up over and over again is whether the people who are actually administering the drugs and engaging the executions have the training and, and experience to do this in a way that is consistent with our Constitution. Oklahoma has granted a two-week halt to all executions, but in many other states, critics say experiments on death row inmates will carry on. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York. Currently, capital punishment is legal in 32 states in America. The most common method of injection is lethal injection, but electrocution and the gas chamber are still allowed in some places. Right now, there are over 3,000 people on death row in the states. And according to Amnesty International, a disproportionate number of them are from ethnic minorities or impoverished backgrounds.